what's the difference now in this level of play now that you're playing with these young, with these uh, professionals versus what you, who you play with and against at, at, at Iowa? I would say the biggest thing is just you can't take a second off. The WNBA season is going in full swing, producing enthralling encounters and jam-packed stadiums. But there is one force, one player, and one game changer, that is Caitlin Clark. Since the beginning of this ongoing WNBA season, Clark has been making headlines and for all positive reasons. She has been a force to reckon with. She's rewriting the history and redefining what a rookie can do. Yeah, she's just a rookie. Caitlin Clark is just exposing the new reality of WNBA. Since the start of this WNBA season, Clark has faced everything. She was bullied, she was criticized, she faced hate and whatnot. And if anything, Clark just focuses on her performance. And in doing so, she is exposing the harsh reality of the WNBA. Artist part about being Caitlin Clark, I would say, having to feel like you're always like on. There have been some questionable fouls against her, including a particularly heated moment with Chenity Carter. Additionally, her trash talk during a game against the Connecticut Sun and her exclusion from the Olympic team sparked discussions. And the comments made by Diana Torasi, we have discussed everything in detail, so don't miss out. We will talk about the latest drama, but let's talk about her recent dynamic performance against New York Liberty, as she guided her side, Indiana Fever, to an emphatic win, and yes, Caitlin Clark showed WNBA players who is the boss. Indiana Fever lost close games in the recent past, but finally ticked all the boxes against New York Liberty. And of course you guessed it right, Caitlin Clark played a pivotal role in the win. In a major upset, Indiana Fever's Caitlin Clark, a rookie, achieved a historic feat. She became the WNBA's first rookie with a triple-double, scoring 19 points, dishing out 13 assists, and grabbing 12 rebounds to lead her team to victory over the league-leading New York Liberty. So, she's rattling the record books, stamping her authority, and rewriting what a rookie can do in a league. Imagine your side struggling to get going in the last few games, and then ending up beating the likes of New York Liberty? Insane. After a string of heartbreaking defeats, the Indiana Fever, led by rookie Caitlin Clark's unwavering spirit, refused to surrender. Clark pinpointed their shortcomings and vowed for a return to form. True to her word, the Fever staged a dramatic comeback, defeating the top-ranked New York Liberty. This victory serves as a testament to the resilience and fighting spirit of both Clark and the entire Indiana team. But that's not end here. Even though she has scored a historic triple-double against Sabrina Ionescu, her impact is far behind the courts. Before making history against New York Liberty, Indiana Fever also got the better of Phoenix Mercury, a side for which Diana Taurasi plays. Do you remember what Diana Taurasi has been talking about, Clark? Unbelievable. She's considered as the legend of the game, but day by day, losing all the respect she has earned in all these years. In one of the shows when Taurasi was asked, who would be her first pick? Caitlin Clark or Paige Buckers? She answered with Paige. Imagine leaving out a rookie who has been in great form. She also taunted that Clark wasn't qualified enough to be part of the USA team for the upcoming Olympics. Imagine being so insecure from just a rookie. Taurasi should do better. But Clark gave a shut up call to all her doubts and critics when her side defeated Mercury last Sunday. The Fever overcame a 15 point deficit to defeat the Mercury 88, 82. Rookie Caitlin Clark nearly had a triple-double with 15 points, 12 assists, and 9 rebounds. Kelsey Mitchell's second-half scoring, 16 points, fueled the comeback. The Fever also got strong contributions from Boston, 17 points, 8 rebounds, and Smith, 12 points, 15 rebounds. Phoenix's Griner, 24 points, and Tarasi, 19 points, couldn't stop Indiana's surge. It's amazing to see what Caitlin has done. And the one thing I really love about her is she loves the game. She's put the work in, and there's been a lot of things thrown at her, and she keeps getting better every single game. Her future is super bright, Tarasi said after the game. Now let's discuss how Caitlin Clark will make you watch the WNBA. How Caitlin Clark will make you watch the WNBA? Michael Jordan's impact on basketball is undeniable. He transformed the sport, raising its global profile and sparking a surge in NBA viewership. Now, after years of steady growth, the WNBA seems to have found its own star with a similar transformative potential. 
Caitlin Clark. Her talent and leadership are drawing attention and raising excitement for the league. For example, the game against Aces, the vibes were insane. Although Indiana Fever lost the game, the impact of Caitlin Clark pulled a massive crowd at T-Mobile Arena. In fact, it was the fifth largest crowd in the history of the WNBA since 1990s. Talk about impact, Clark's aura is undeniable. And the game against Mercury, Sports Media Watch, noticed something incredible. Sunday's Fever Mercury WNBA regular season game averaged 1.93 million viewers on ESPN, marking the fourth largest WNBA audience since Memorial Day 2001, the report noted. The top four have come this season alone, all for games involving Caitlin Clark and the Fever. Caitlin Clark's electrifying presence is attracting new fans and generating excitement for the WNBA. This surge in interest is vital for the growth of women's basketball, and it's only just begun. As the season unfolds, we can anticipate even greater buzz surrounding the league. With the All-Star Game approaching, one thing's for sure, Clark's stellar performance on and off the court positions her to smash records. And now imagine how the landscape of the WNBA will shift during the All-Star Game when the likes of Clark, Tarazi, and Angel Reese will light up the stage. The times are finally changing for the WNBA, and it's largely due to Caitlin Clark. Can she win Rookie of the Year award? Let's forget what others have been saying about Caitlin Clark. Do let us know. Do you think she can win the Rookie of the Year award? As Angel Reese has been top-notch as well. As well, all know that rookie phenom Caitlin Clark of the Indiana Fever made history with the first WNBA rookie triple-double. Averaging 16 points, 6 rebounds, and 7 assists, she leads rookies in scoring and assists. However, her shooting efficiency and the Fever's struggles without her create debate for Rookie of the Year. Competitor Angel Reese boasts a similar scoring average and a greater impact on winning, particularly on defense. The race likely comes down to team success and Clark's ability to keep the Fever competitive. Whether Clark wins the Rookie of the Year or not, her impact needs no trophies. She has been a rising star who has taken the WNBA by storm, by mere only her presence. She is giving the new directions to the WNBA and also exposing the ugly truth about the WNBA. And it's just the beginning, and one can expect how the landscape and value of WNBA will be increased if Clark continues to rise and shine. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know what you think about the impact Caitlin Clark is having on the WNBA.